The gimbal has a controllable range of being pointed straight down 90 degrees or as much as 20 degrees above the horizon when rolled all the way up. But it is limited by its mechanical range to 110 degrees or up to 35 degrees. So there's an excess of about 20 degrees beyond vertical down. That means you should be able to pitch the Mini 20 degrees back when flying backwards and still have the gimbal within its controllable range pointing straight down at 90 degrees. If you exceed that 20 degrees, obviously it's going to drag the camera with it. And in, according to the specs, both P mode, position mode, and C cinematic mode are limited to 20 degrees, so those should be well within the operating range of the, the gimbal. Of course, sport mode will tilt as much as 30 degrees, so that'll be 10 degrees more than the physical limit of the camera, of the gimbal, I mean. With the Mini powered up, but without the motors running, if you point the gimbal straight down, it stays stabilized, pointing straight down, no matter how you tip the Mini forward or back. But if you tip the Mini further than the mechanical limit to the range of motion of the gimbal obviously the gimbal will have to turn with the mini but when you bring the mini back level again the camera is still pointing straight down so it resumes whatever position it was told to hold when you bring the mini back to level it's still pointing straight down so that works as one would expect it to work however when you do the same test with the motors running if you tilt the mini rearward Further than 20 degrees, it exceeds the gimbal's mechanical limits, and it pushes the camera forward, but it sticks there. It doesn't return back to its vertical position. Note the camera goes further and further forward. If you tilt the thing back, it stays there. It doesn't resume its vertical position. Why is that different than when the motors are not running?